Good morning once again. Steve here from the Whirly Bogger. September 22nd, I believe. 2022 standing here at Reinhardt Boat Launch. You can see the river has receded and is very, very low now. So quite the contrary from uh, what it has been all year. Been following us on the uh, YouTube channel. Been telling you about all the water in the river. Now, the time of year when the river drops and is super low. Absolutely. Running at about a thousand cubic feet here today at Reinhardt. Whether you're boating the river or wade fishing the river, it's a great time of the year to be out. Boating, of course, from section to section is still very productive and a great way to fish the river for sure. Of course, there's, you know, new obstacles, all kinds of uh, rocks, stumps, logs, sandbars. Low points in the river that you have to uh, to watch out for, keep a, keep an eye on, especially here, right, for, right below the uh, boat launch here at Reinhardt big pilings in the water so stuff like this is all buried underwater during the uh, spring and summer but as the river drops and recedes these uh, these obstacles that are covered by water during the summer are exposed and things you just have to pay attention to also there's a few portages that you have to uh, be aware of. Uh, well, there's a couple here in the Reinhardt section as you, as you get down towards the uh, tree farm, about three quarters of the way through the drift. A couple logs, you get out, push your boat around it. As long as you got folks that'll help you, it's not a, not a huge issue. And then another one, uh, up in the East Clay Elm area above that boat launch as well that you have to be aware of right now. But as the river drops and recedes, you know, stuff still, you know, moves around. You would think it would kind of be the opposite way during high water. Of course, you know, stuff gets moved around, but when the river drops, logs and other debris break loose and they can form uh, nasty spots in the river, so you just have to have a heads up about that. Fishing's been absolutely fantastic all week. With this big wet spring that we had, lots of water, the crane fly fishing is still fantastic. Lots of fish still on crane flies. So that's really really fun way to uh, to fish throughout the day we're also right in the middle of the big stonefly hatch we're starting to see lots of big females now flying across the water that's happening about the middle of middle of the afternoon too you start seeing them so it doesn't take long for fish to recognize those food forms especially you know in lower flows like this everything's kind of magnified for them and another big bug happening October caddis again doesn't take them long to get focused on on eating those whether it's adults or pupas low water They can get pretty focused on a big bug pretty quickly. And then it's starting to get to that time of year too where it's little bug time. 
the last couple of days there's been really good hatches of uh, blue wing olives as well so lots of food for the fish to eat lots of uh challenges for the uh, for the fly fishermen so it's kind of a fun time of the year you can catch fish on a wide variety of different flies presented correctly salmon are spawning in very specific sections of the river uh, places in the farmlands up around clay Elum and then above clay Elum. so if you're out in a boat out walking the river be careful not to disturb the reds Here's what you're going to see in the river over the next month. Lots of salmon. We got spring chinook spawning. There's coho coming and sockeye. There's more coho coming around uh, this year too. So we're supposed to see more coho in the river. Those will start showing up in October. And uh, be spawning through October and November so still lots of really really good fishing to come here October absolutely fantastic month to fish on the Yakima October caddis blooming olives Perhaps a couple other mayfly hatches happening as well. So if you'd like to get out with us, we have some open spots in October. Like we've been telling you all year, we're, uh, we're very busy and we're super undermanned about like every other small business in the country. So plan ahead. It's usually best to call us with a couple of dates that worked for you and we can try and work around our schedule we'd love to have you we appreciate your business appreciate your support and we would appreciate you liking and sharing the video so spread it around we hope to see you guys out on the river give us a call if you uh, have any questions you find the fly shop not open just leave a message and uh, be sure to return your call as soon as we uh, get back in there